again the same. Speaking of sunsets, last night's was shocking. I mean, sunsets aren't supposed to frighten you, are they? Well, this one was terrifying. People were screaming in the streets. Sure, it was beautiful, but far too beautiful. It wasn't natural. One climax followed another and then another until your knees went weak and you couldn't breathe. The colors were definitely not of this world. Peaches dripping opium, pandemonium of tangerines, inferno of irises, plutonium emeralds, all swirling and churning, swabbing like it was playing with us, like we were nothing, as if our whole lives were a preparation for this, this for which nothing could have prepared us and for which we could not have been less prepared. The mockery of it all stung us bitterly, and when it was finally over, we whimpered and cried and howled. And then the streetlights came on as always, and we looked into one another's eyes. Ancient caves with still pools, and those little transparent fish who have never seen even one ray of light. And the poem that returned to us was not even our own.